This is an example of an arbitrary point problem, and I don't know if they're officially called arbitrary point problems or not, but that's what I call them. And what it is is finding the equation or the points of tangency on a curve of a tangent line that passes through a point that's not on a curve. So for example, let's look at this one and see what we're dealing with. If I give you y equals x squared plus 2, find the tangent point or points on y equals x squared plus 2 that pass through 3, 1. Now note that 3, 1 is not on this equation. And so what we're going to have is this point here, 3, 1. My scale's off a little bit because these are by 10s. This is up to 50 just to get this picture appropriate. And what I want to do is find the tangent line. I don't have a straight edge, but... I want to find that tangent line. And if you know, note this, that we also have a tangent line that might pass through there. So we could get possibly two solutions. And so that's what we want to be looking at and how to find those solutions. So the arbitrary point comes in by labeling this point. I do know that this one is 3, 1. This arbitrary point here is x, y. But I don't want to call this y. Otherwise, you get two equations, two unknowns, and well, we got the one equation here. So I might as well call the y coordinate what it is. In this case, it's x squared plus 2. Now, what's the relationship between the slope of this line? Well, I, I didn't say that right. But the slope of the line is the same regardless if I take the derivative and evaluate it at this point or if I take the slope by definition. So this minus this over this minus this, and so that's what I'm going to do. Slope by definition is going to be x squared plus 2, that's my y minus my y, all over my x minus my x, x minus 3. So I just get this from the slope. And then I have slope by derivative, and so it has to be the same here, so this would be y prime, I can write this up here, I guess. y prime is equal to 2x. That's one it's not too difficult. So I get 2x. And so slope by definition, the slope between these two points, and then slope by derivative. I take this derivative and I plug in the x coordinate. Well, since I used x anyways, it just becomes this. So now I go ahead and solve this. I can cross multiply. So 2x, x minus 3 is equal to x squared, that just becomes plus 1. So I get 2x squared minus 6x. And then I can get x squared minus 6x, bring this over, minus 1 is equal to 0. Now to find these solutions, you can use the quadratic formula, but I like to graph this all on one sheet. So let's look at what this looks like. So if I have this here, this is my curve. I don't have this point labeled, but it's down here someplace, 3, 1. Now, if I take this other one, I get y equals x squared minus 6x minus 1. And look what happens. There's my other curve. And so my zeros of this one right here and right here would end up being the points of tangency on my original curve. So this is y equals x squared plus 1, or x squared plus 2. So here's that same picture again, and I have y equals x squared plus 2, and I draw this tangent line, it goes right through, I'm off a little bit, but it should be right here. And that equates to the zero of this other curve. So all I'm doing is solving for the x values of where this point of tangency is. So those two values on this bottom curve those zeros would give me my x values of the point of tangency. So my solutions here turn out to be these two values. Those are the x values of my points of tangencies. I need to go find the y values too. So then I got to plug the, these values into my original, which is the x squared plus 2 up here. And if you plug these values in to my original equations, these would be the points on the curve that I end up with a point of tangency. Something else that we might ask you is find the equations 
of the tangent lines. Well, what do you need to write the equation of a line? You need point and you need slope. So what I have is, I have the point. So if, for instance, this one, I have the point. How do I find the slope? Well, to find the slope, I can do it one of two ways. I can either take the x value and plug it into this, slope by definition, but I think it'd be much easier to put the slope into here. So to write this equation, I'll do it in unsimplified form. My point, and I'm going to get two of these lines, right? So it's negative 0.162, 2.026, and my slope would be 2 times my negative 0.162, because that's 2x. So then I would go y minus 2.026 is equal to 2 times negative 1.62, and then my x minus my x-coordinate, which would be x plus 0.162. That would be the equation of the tangent line. You can do a similar thing for, I've done this, you can do a similar thing for this and check that out. You should be able to graph that on your calculator and this should all show up. Plot in y equals x squared plus two, plot in this line, plot in the line that you get from here and you should be done. All right, thank you very much. That's an example of an arbitrary point problem where we find the, find the points of tangency doing slope equal to slope, and then also the equation of the tangent. Uh, just writing the equation of the tangent given the point, and I have the slope now, and I can find that. Thank you very much.